Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Files. With a, the launch of our new wall editing features within the 3D floor planner, I thought it might be really helpful if I just created a few short video tutorials that will show you all the different ways that you can use these new wall editing features to really customize your designs for your clients. So in today's video, what we are going to be focusing on is how to create sloped ceilings with the wall editing tools. So this is the look that I'm going to be striving for. I've already got my floor plan built out and you can see that everything's already been added in. And the last thing I need to do here is just add in the angle for the ceiling. Now, first thing that I do need to make sure uh, that I know is the full length of the wall that I'm going to be adding that slope to. So before you even go ahead and jump into the wall editing tool, the first thing you want to do is go into the floor plan and you want to figure out what the overall length of the wall is that you're going to be adding that slope to. So I can see that this is 12 feet long. Once I know that I can jump back into the 3d perspective mode. And even though this is the wall that I'm going to be adding that slope to, I'm actually going to edit this wall that's right next to it. And I'll show you why that's important. So let's go ahead. We're going to click on this wall and we're going to click the edit icon in the tooltip to open up the wall editing features. Now this has uh, brought me into the wall editor. You can see that it's already showing the paint color that I've added to the wall and the wainscoting that I've added. Now down here, you're going to see your 3d preview. And if you click on any of these blue bands here, if you click and hold and just drag it out, it will expand. And if I drag it back in, it's going to contract. So you can use this if you want to see how the updates that you're making in the wall editor are actually showing within your 3d floor plan. But for now, I'm just going to close this down. Now, what I need to do here is I need to create the shape for this angle. So if I want it to come out and down like this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop over to this right side panel over here and I'm going to click on the line tool. When I grab the line tool, I can bring it back over to my wall and I'm actually going to start by adding a point in the uh, corner here. I'm going to bring down my mouse and you can see how the dimension is showing as I move my mouse. So I'm going to bring this down to about three feet. I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to add another point at the top of the wall here, and I'm just going to close off this shape. So I'm going to come back to the very first point that I made. Now this is saying 3.2. Uh, so instead of having this three, uh, three feet, two inches, what I really want is for this to be just three feet. So I'm going to click on the point that I just made, hold down with the left button on my mouse, and I'm just going to slide this over until I hit three feet, just like that. I'm then going to do the same thing over here on this side. So click the line tool, click on the corner. We're going to uh, move our mouse out till we hit three feet, make another point, angle it down here to the side of the wall. Just put your point anywhere because you're going to be able to adjust it. So it doesn't matter. And then close off this uh, triangular shape here. So we're just going to click on that corner again. So now I can see this is 210. I'm going to click and hold down with my left button on my mouse and I'm just going to shift it until I have three feet like that. And now I can go ahead and I can fill these two triangular shapes with the paint color that I want for the ceiling. So I'm going to pop into the paint category in our wall texture library here. You can browse by specific brands if you want. You can go in and you can browse by color code or you could even type in the color name. So I'm going to just use ultra white. So it's going to pop up here. I can then click on that and I'm going to click directly into that shape. And when I do this, you're going to see that this panel changes. So it's showing me the color that I've added and it's also showing me this extrusion tool. Now this is what I'm going to use to build out that angle. So if I just open this previewer up again, let's just make this 24 inches. You can see how it built out that shape into the space and it's going to, if I add more here, it's just going to extend this the full length of the wall. So that's why you want to make sure that you're taking the measurement of the wall before you come into the editor. I knew that it was 12 feet. So I'm going to put in 144 inches and it's just going to expand out that angled slope to this wall. I'll do the same thing over here as well. So again, we're going to go back. Actually, I can uh, go back into Benjamin Moore. My color is still selected. Click on that. Click on this uh, triangle now. And again, we're going to make this 144 inches. 
and you can see that it built out the, the actual shape within the 3D previewer. If you're good to go, you can just go ahead and hit save wall. If you wanna make any changes, you can do that as well. But let's go ahead, we'll save this wall. And now you can see how that angle has been built into this design. Okay, so there you have it. It's pretty simple and easy to use. You could also use that same technique if you had to build out a bulkhead on one of these walls as well. I'll just click the edit tool here. Instead of using the line tool, you could even just use the rectangular tool to create that rectangular shape and then extrude that shape for however long it needs to come out into the space. So definitely pop into your Design Files account. Give this new feature a try. As always, let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.